Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Jason's room. Today I will introduce you guys my favorite pet rat, fancy rat. And this fancy rat, he is a male rat, as you can see. Uh, he's a, a hatched one. Like he got this broom fur part on his head, and with the tiny white part in the middle on his on his head. And he's very timid. He's very gentle rat. Sometimes he acts a bit coldly, but it doesn't matter. Like um, his name is La Tiao, and its Chinese meaning is hot strips or spicy strips. He joins my touch, and he joins a company and playing with the human. And I like his clean, long clean tears. You can see. To be honest, I have many rats as well. Like uh, I had my first rat. Uh, he's a cinnamon one. That uh, that a uh, cinnamon rat just had some um, sad stories uh, in his life. Like he the, like he had fights with other rats and just got her got himself injured. The first time he got his eyeball broken just with other rats, and I took my boy to the vet and the vet said that um, he would give me some medicine and then I should have just rubbed the medicine on my boy's uh, broken eyes uh, to make my boy's eye sh eyeball shrink and then fall out of the eye socket. Um, at the beginning, I was told to do so and I thought that it, will save my, it would save me some money and then I found out it was too suffering so a few days later, I went to the vet and just asked the vet to give my boy some eye operation. And that uh, that just did, a, did an eye surgery to remove my boy's broken eye. And my boys recovered from that surgery very well. But the second time, um, my boy just had fights with other rats and then got his uh, red tail cut. And just, you know, it was very, very serious injury. And I took him to the hospital and the vet just did an operation on his tail as well. But just after my boy recovered from his uh, tail operation, a few days later, he passed away, and at that time, coronavirus, the winter broke, and I was kept in my own province, and I cannot get out, so I cannot make it the last glance with my boy rat. So it was so, um, so it was a sad story. And you know, rat, fancy rat, or and the whole rat species, they contributed a lot to the human society. But people just consider that the rats are strange. They are well, the rats. They always just walk on the streets and steal people's food. Some people think they are pests, and they dislike the rats. They wanted to extinguish all of them. But you know, the some rats, like the experimental rats, they contribute a lot to the society. Like a drug or a makeup store have to put their own products on the rat experimental rest uh, to make sure whether those products can work or not. If the rats cannot accept the result, um, then that product cannot be put onto the market. So. But, you know, during the experiment, um, the whole process is cruel to the rat themselves. Like, um, they just, you know, they are going under experiments. Sometimes it's inhuman for them, and the rest must suffer. And some of my uh, friends, they have parents just who uh, did a very great job in bad technology. And when they get got older, they just found out they did some experiments on the rats. They felt, um, um, they felt so much regret, like their hands are covered in blood. Uh, they just think that um, they killed so many innocent animals. And... My first major was biotechnology as well, but then I just uh, quit my major because I cannot tolerate doing some dissection job on those vivid animals, and I cannot tolerate just to, uh, you know, just to hurt those animals. And some of my classmates say that if a rat wasn't, if a rat didn't lose his life in an experiment, the teachers will ask, ask the students to lay down their rats, so that it was very gross and uh, cruel, I think. Just, you know, in the uh, later term, I like my rats very well, and I didn't regret I made my choice to quit the biotechnology major and change it to another one. You know, animals have their own will, have their own social behavior norms, so you cannot judge them uh, in the human perspective. Perhaps they just do not have the advanced source as we humans have, but they indeed have their own behavior standards, they have their own rules in the anim animal kingdom, so you do not have the right to just deprive of their lives. People do not like rats, but I definitely like those lovely animals because they just contribute a lot to human. and. You can see that the rats, they just sometimes they can connect with the human. They just like the tiny dog. They can feel your emotions and they enjoy your touch. And they don't leave. If you cry or just shed tears or something, they will just lick your tears away. Like they are comforting you. And those pet rats, they do not have, they do not catch virus. Some people just hate those rats because they think they perhaps just uh, get some bacteria on their hands and can transmit disease to the human. But in fact, it's not. The pet rats are kept in the domestic environment, they are kept in humans' clean house, so they, they just cultivated by 
some people just for about a hundred generations. So uh, they are definitely the different species. They, they are definitely different from the wild rats. So if you compare a wild rat to the pet rat, it's kind of like you compare a wolf to the dog. So it's a totally different stuff. My rats, um, they just, you know, they can feel humans, and I think they are really great animals. Oh my god, my little chubby, chubby one. But to remember, some, sometimes if you want to really keep rest, remember to get them in separate cages, like the one gender in one cage, the boys are in, ca in one cage, and the girls are in another cage. Do not mix them together, because if you mix them um, on both genders, they will just, you know, they have very strong reproduction ability, they will give birth to a lot of babies, so you cannot afford for them. So to make sure that you should be responsible for your rats, if you want to just have those baby rats, they are very lovely, and the rats are used to the company of other rat fellows. So remember, just if you really want to have the rat as your pet, you should just find them another company. Like the two rats kept in one gender, they kept uh, in one cage. So that's definitely a great choice. My chubby rat, you are so lovely, so baby, my baby, my baby, li uh, my baby lion, I found it here. Some rat, rats, they can just be trained to just turn circles, and they can also um, just be trained to just to pee or poo just at certain areas, they are very clean animals, they like to just groom their fur, so they are not as dirty as people think, and they are, to be honest, they they like the cleanliness more than the human being. I like my rats very well, how about you? If you guys uh, like this video, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to make sure that you get my information updated every day. So thank you guys for watching this video, goodbye, kiss!